Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Geo video, and today guys, we are going to be looking at a Buzzwolf GX deck. I know I haven't gotten around to doing this archetype yet, um, but finally we can cover Buzzwolf. I know there's been a lot of Buzzwolf already, so it's kind of already like, yeah, I don't really care about making a Buzzwolf video, but you know what? There is one Buzzwolf list I haven't seen talked about yet, and that is Buzzwolf with Decidueye GX. Now, I really like this idea. Now, it reminds me a lot of my original uh, Decidueye Zygarde video that I made uh, a couple months back. That was a pretty cool deck. It's not really the same deck, though, because there are a couple differences. Like, Buzzwool is mainly going to be using its first attack. So, yeah, there's a few differences. But for the most part, it's kind of the same thing. So, that's kind of what we're going to be looking at today is my Decidueye Buzzwool deck. And we're going to look at it and uh, show you guys why I kind of like this deck. So, start things off. Buzzwool GX is very strong. We already know it's basically like Lander CX has the same attack, Hammerhead, Jet Punch, same attack, 30 damage, the active, 30 to a bench Pokemon. And what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be able to, you know, snipe things. We can even take two prizes in two turns if our opponent cannot deal with 30 damage, like Evolve or Heal or something like that. Jet Punch is very, very powerful. Now, it's great in a format where Evolution seem to be dominating because. We can combo this with Espeon EX's Miraculous Shine to de-evolve them. Now there are some things in this list that we don't have. Um, some key cards that you might want to consider putting in here is stuff like Potown. Um, Potown isn't wouldn't be bad in here, isn't it? Wouldn't be bad because you know, obviously Potown is a very strong card. We don't have Potown in here, as you may already have guessed. I would add it, but again, it damages it kind of damages your Decidueye. That's why I don't like it in this list. Um, but yeah, I think Pogtown would be a good option to have in this deck at the end of the day. But uh, again, you damage your Decidueye. We do play a heavy line of Dark Tricks, so I don't think you should play Pogtown in here. It's up to you, though, obviously. So yeah, the idea is spam Jet Punch, de-evolve with Espeon. And Jet Punch is just really good when you consider that you can combo it with Strong Energy and Choice Band. It's like really strong. There's even more ways to combo it. Like, it's nuts because you can also use Reggie Rock to even do more damage. It's crazy. Buzzwool is really strong. So, yeah, Buzzwool's got a lot going for it. Now, when we partner with Decidueye, we can Feather Arrow to add additional damage at the end of the day to evolve things. We've seen Decidueye work in the past recently with kind of more of a tankier build of the deck than just straight, like, Ninetales Decidueye. And I do like this build a little bit more. I don't know. I think this build is pretty good, too. And uh, we kind of also had this whole like kind of tanky theme going on with the deck, and uh, we'll we'll discuss that in a moment. But yeah, Decidueye is kind of here for Feather Arrow. You're not really gonna use Razor Leaf. We have no double color synergy in this deck. Something you could consider putting in is like a DCE, but I, you're not ever gonna use it on Buzzwool. Like Buzzwool's attacks are only fight energy, so you can't really use it on Buzzwool. And that's why I don't like having the DC in the deck. I think Decidueye is just better for Hollow Hunt. You're probably gonna end up using Hollow Hunt with this deck more than Razor Leaf. Hollow Hunt is really good. Just Buzzwool's GX attack is okay. Super Absorption isn't bad. Hollow Hunt's better though because you can just get three cards back and this is that's a very strong effect to have in this type of list. So I don't mind Absorption. We might use it, especially if we're playing against something that isn't like evolution heavy, like I don't know, like Darkrai or Volcanion or something like that. But for the most part we're gonna be just slamming them with Jet Punch. And uh, we're never really going to use Absorption. It's going to be Hollow Hunt. Because Hollow Hunt can get you back three cards. Like, there's some key things we took out in here. We took out stuff like Special Charge in here. And um, that's one of the reasons why Hollow Hunt is so heavily focused. Because you can get back your energy that way. So there are a lot more to this deck than meets the eye. Now, we're going to try and keep our Buzzwolves as healthy as possible. They have 190 HP, so they're very, very bulky. And uh, what we're going to be doing with those is we're going to be doing cards like Max Potion. Which kind of is more only here for Decidueye. Because, again... Feather Arrow will win you games just by putting damage on stuff to set up an Espeon play. But we can also use Max Potion to heal ourselves. And we played three copies of Ace Roller. I know it's a lot to have, but again, Buzzle is hard to one-shot. And um, when you're only using one energy, even Gardevoir is going to have a hard time one-shotting you, especially because it has 190 HP. It can avoid the 180 barrier that Gardevoir usually pushes. So Ace Rolla is great to just recover the Buzzwool and keep it from being KO'd, and this is really good. So we're going all in with three Ace Rollas for this list, just to keep up the Buzzwool's pressure. I really like this card in this list a lot. 
Now, some other cards in this deck. We got one Zygarde. Now, this is mainly here in case we end up playing against something like Volcanion. This deck will struggle against non-evolution decks, right? I mean, Buzzle can still put on decent damage, but at the end of the day, Volcanion is going to run you over. You know, Turnator is going to start one-shotting your your Buzzles, and then you also have to worry about other speedy decks that don't use evolutions, like any deck that kind of doesn't worry about Espeon and can just pound you to death like a Volcanian archetype. Yeah, we're going to need Zygarde to help us out in that situation. Also, it's not weak to Psychic, so I don't know, if we're playing against, you know, not Dramp of Guard, we have Zygarde to fall back on. We do play one Baby Mew, and this is one of the cool tech cards I was talking about. Baby Mew could be great, because what you can do, you can slap an energy on it, obviously it has to be rainbow energy, but you can put a rainbow energy on your Mew. And then you can put a choice band on, and then you can copy Jet Punch, and then you're going to be doing 120 damage to an Espeon and to a Necrozma. And uh, this helps you avoid being, you know, having to attack with your Buzzwool. It's a non ex attacker. I really like this card in this list. Also, it's something with a free retreat cost, which I, at the end of the day, I feel like these decks need something with a free retreat. Mew is kind of the, kind of the guy that's like, hey, right, Mew has a free retreat cost. Let's play Mew. There you go. We got our two Lele's, of course, for Wonder Tag. Any other cards that I would probably consider would probably be, like, if, if you ever want to play DC, which I don't think this list needs, you got Tapu Koko. It's obviously great with, you know, thing. Um, but really, that's about it. Like, I, I genuinely don't know what other, like, techs you can run. Like, most of the fighting types are not really that good for this deck. You know, there's not really any good fighting types that I can think of, you know. I mean, yeah, Mar Shadow, I guess, would be okay, but there's no point of playing Mar Shadow in this list. Like, Mew already fills that slot. Um, you know, Lycanroc, you don't really need in here, and it would be even make it more clunkier than it already is. So, uh, yeah, for the most part, there's really nothing else that you need in this deck. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, so let's go on the items now. We got two Field Blowers. Again, we're relying on abilities, so this will help us against Garb. One Max Potion to keep up that stall-heavy kind of pressure. Four rare candies to go stranger situated. Like I know we play a four three four line. And it again it's just to keep our deciduized going. But four candies is also pretty good consistency. It's a lot of consistency with the deciduized lineup. One stretcher to be able to get back our Pokemon. Four Ultra Balls to be able to search your deck for our Pokemon. Two Ace Rollas to uh, kind of keep some pressure on with our Buzzwolves. One Bridget to be able to set up pretty quickly. I would honestly prefer two Bridgets in this list, but I don't know. We got three Guzmas to be able to, you know, bring stuff up, KO them. Four Rens for draw support, four Sycamores for your draw support. We do play three copies of Choice Band in here. Again, this is great with Buzzwool. Now, Funny Fury Belt wouldn't be bad either, just to give your Buzzwool more HP. It even kind of benefits Mew to a degree. So, I don't know. You could play, like, two Choice Bands, one Funny Fury Belt if you wanted to. I, I don't mind Funny Fury Belt on this list. It kind of does help you, too, when you're using Ace Rolla. Because you have, like, 230 HP, so you have a ton of HP to work with. So, I don't know if you want to run Funny Fury Belt or not. Uh, we got two Floats. This is great for Decidueye. Four strong energies. Again, this is perfect for our Buzzwool. We got four rainbow energies, and uh, we got one copy of fight energy. So yeah, this is my Buzzwool Decidueye list. I really like this idea. Uh, we'll see if it is and end up working on PCGO. So uh, have some matches with this deck. See next on PCGO, and uh, maybe I'll do some more Buzzwool videos down the road. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so see you guys. All right, guys. Let's get some matches with our Buzzwool Decidueye deck, and uh, let's see how this goes. Alright, find our first matchup here, and it is going to be against uh, Garboder. Great. <laughs> the hardest matchup in the world, Kappa. Alright, let's see if we can beat Garb. We are going to win the coin flip, which is great. Doesn't matter, though. I think it does, because we can get a turn to Decidueye, will be golden. Pony hits me with a heart hello. We got, you know, we got to hit him back with a heart. Hello, too. Alright, cool. We're gonna open with Buzzwool. We do have a decent starting hand. Uh, I guess we can end. Kinda have to. Unless we can draw, like, a Bridget or a Lele. Because I do want to try and get some Decidueyes going. And, ooh. We can just, okay, hmm. Are we up against Sinchino? Okay, that's actually a little, a little interesting. Another Buzzwool. I think I'm not gonna do it. Okay, we're not, but... Energy is going to be scarce this match, and if I actually was able to get a Rowlet down, we could have probably gone a turn to Decidueye. I think I'll put Buzzwool down, and I think we got to end him here. I can't put any energy down, because we know he's playing Hammers, so I can't really afford to do that. We are going to find a Rowlet, though, which is great. Hmm. 
only problem is we can't one-shot this Tauros. Hmm, we'd have to get Strong Energy and Choice Band and a Feather Arrow, which I think we can wait to stack. So, I might as well wait to do that, because we can't knock him out just with Strong Energy. We can do a lot of damage, but Tauros does not get KO'd, so we have to find quite a few. Okay, then, never mind. Oh, wow, he's going to knock on my Rowlet, too. Great. What did Rowlet ever do to you? It didn't do anything. All right, cool. Not really, though. I guess we have to just attack him here. We can at least do 30, which doesn't really prompt any Mad Bull play. I think I go double Rowlet, and I guess we'll get Mew. Sure. I don't mind that. We're not ever going to use Mew, but we might as well go for the Mew anyways. We could Jet Punch him for 30, and uh, we aren't really walking into Mad Bull quite yet. We need to find Field Blower, and we need to find like a Decidueye so we can take out Weakness Policy, and we can hit him for Weakness, because that's how we are going to win. We are going to see a Plumera, which is fine. As long as we can use Hollow Hunt, we should be good. I mean, I wasn't really expecting to play against an Energy Removal deck, so... That's fine. He plays Raticate, too. Interesting. So yeah, I wasn't really expecting to play against energy removal so you gotta kind of get me there find a choice band we could act we can technically hit him here but hmm we could do 60 with the choice band we could do 80 with the choice band he would have he'd still have quite a few hp we can't really knock him out afterwards i don't want to end him though but i think i got to. i think we can afford to waste his rainbow energy Hit him for 60, he'd have 120. Oh, we hit him for 30, sorry, he'd have 120. Which, if we can find the right cards, we can take him out. I don't want to end him, though, this is just suicide. Well, he did get rid of an end, so I guess he has something in his hand, because he plumered away his end, so that's fine. Or actually, I don't know if he did, whatever, who cares. We are actually going to be able to get a Decidueye down. Hmm, okay, what will... Oh, man, I don't want to get rid of this Ace Roller. We might actually play the Ace Roller next turn, though, too. Or can he just rage me? Because he'll have snow. he got the Mad Bull to take me out, which I guess he'll do. But if we can Ace Roller, that'd be pretty nice. But I don't think he's going to be doing a play like that. So we might as well go for Decidueye. And before we get delinquented. Might as well. Do I want a Feather Arrow? Because, oh, I guess. He could actually Guzma my Decidueye, though, if we do Feather Arrow him. So that's kind of a risky play. And I don't like that. Because I don't want to have my Decidueye get KO'd. Though we do have a Rowlet in play. I mean, I guess. We might as well. The more damage we can get on this thing, the better. And uh, we can Jet Punch him for 30. And uh, he'll be knocked out soon if we can find Field Blower, Strong Energy, Choice Band. Or even just Strong Energy, Choice Band. Maybe. There's a lot of cards still. We can still keep up with air pressure. We are going to see an Ultra Ball. He might be playing Garbodor too, which we got to watch out for. We only play... We only have two items. It looks like he is actually going to target my Decidueye, though, with Mad Bull. Which is what I feared. Yeah, it looks like he's doing it. Good thing I put the Mew down. Unless his Guzma is not in his deck, but... He's definitely going to grab Guzma and take out Decidueye. Yeah, he's played one. I don't know if he plays more, but he definitely does. No, he's actually doing Sycamore. Unless he has a Guzma in his hand. Nope. Hmm. Okay, he uses two more Raticates. Raticates not really a threat. We can one-shot him with Jet Punch pretty easily. Another Tauros that's going to make things hard. We basically need to find our Choice Band Strong Energy. I don't know at what point we should do Hollow Hunt, though. Maybe when we're low on Strong Energies. Those are when I think we're going to definitely need our Hollow Hunt. It'd be nice to end him here, because his hand is ginormous, but can't. Alright. So we're gonna... Okay, we got the KO, right? Yeah, we're good. We got him knocked out. We could stretcher... I don't really see a point in stretching back the Rowlet, though. Kind of wish I got another Decidueye. Kinda wish I was also KOing him. I don't want to waste his rainbow energy either. We have two left, I guess, but still, it's not really in my best interest to just burn 
this rainbow energy when I need it. But I know I didn't need to do that. If I had a strong energy, we wouldn't have to play this field blower. We could have kept it for a turn. And we haven't played a strong energy yet. So well, that sucks we didn't draw it. Yeah, that just kind of sucks. We have to burn this rainbow energy, which I don't like, but it's for the greater good. Guess we have to do this. Jet punch him. And how much HP? I think he has 40, right? I can't see. Yeah, we can't take out Radich. I mean... Nah, we should still hit this Tauros to be sure we can one-shot him. And we'll take our two prizes. Hopefully we can find some energy in a supporter. Nope. Those are none of the above. We do find a flow. Maybe I can like go into Decidueye and stall for a bit and then just max potion it. I kind of like that. That might actually be a fine play. I need to find an end though, because his hand is massive. He has a lot to work with here. There's a crushing hammer. Hopefully, he gets tails. All right, good. As long as we keep our energy on, I'm fine. Yes. Okay. Keep up the tails, please. We see, eradicate, meaning we're gonna get crunched. Another weakness policy, bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stick more. I'm surprised you put down that second Tauros. Another hammer. Hopefully this gets tails. Yo, nice. Okay, good. Uh, never mind. He can actually set up a shadowy bite play next turn too, I just realized. Mm, not right. He's only doing 120. It's still kind of annoying though. I don't want to burn these candies, but I don't really know if it matters at this point. So I might as well just go for it. I'm just gonna dump this hand. Though I'm not really too happy about losing this Guzma, but that's fine. Or I could end him actually, but if I whip the energy, I don't really want to be in a position. Like, I might as well just dump this hand. Like, I don't know if I'm even gonna need to... The fact that I'm probably gonna get two Decidueye down this turn anyways is fine. I don't need to play Stretcher, so we might as well just dump this entire hand and just hope for the best. And uh, the best came. Hopefully, though, we don't get in next turn. That's kind of what I'm scared of. Price trade's a little uneven, too. So he's got 130 HP. I guess we just keep spamming these feather arrows just in case. Do I put another strong energy down just so I don't try into it in case he ends me? I think we can sit for now. We can just jet punch him. Actually, going to hit the Lele, too. So we need to KO Lele at some point to win the game. Where do we hit this? 70, he'll have 110, he'll be KO'd even if we found a basic like rainbow or something. I don't know. So we might as well just hit this Lele and get ready for that thing to be KO'd. Ultra Ball, that's not bad, I can get rid of the Espeon that I don't think I'll need at this point. I just need to find that other Field Blower though. Just good thing I dodged the Mad Bull. Now the Mad Bull's out of the way, we can probably play a little more aggressive now. We'll see if uh, this strong energy stays on us. He's played two hammers to enhance. He still has one crushing. We'll see if this hits or not. If he finds a way to get rid of my energy. Another weakness pulse, bro. We can get a toy. If I think we get field blow, we win the game. We can take out this Raditor right now. Mm -hmm. Let me think. I think we actually have game here. If I put another strong energy on, we're doing we're doing a lot of damage. We're doing 60, 90 with a strong energy. So yeah, we're doing 90 with another strong. A choice band would actually be 120. Okay, that is game then. Yeah, we actually yeah we have game here. We can just do this. We can feather arrow with Raditor once. We can, I guess we feather the active. Uh, hit him with a well played. And a jet punch for the game on this Tauros deck. This was a bit of a scary matchup because our energy is scarce, but we came through. We actually prized the field blower, so I'm glad we got that when we did, but whatever, it's fine. We got the win, and uh, that could have went pretty south, but I think the fact that he hit so many hammers on the, the crushing hammers was pretty big. But that was a pretty good match. Shadowy Bite was actually a little bit more threatening, and uh, I wanted to see what his deck was. Shadowy Bite was one of the more threatening things that I had to deal with that game. 
because it could do a lot of damage because we play rainbow energy and strong energy so I was kind of scared of uh, shadowy bite but that's fine we were able to pull through and win Ooh. we'll get another game with our deck and uh, might as well keep plowing through the matches I want to get the Dark Spores pack. I'll, I need one more Dark Patch, which I don't want to trade for, so I want to get out of the Dark Spores pack. Another Psychic deck. Oh, man. Is everyone just playing Psychic today? Can I play against something else? We get a Hello, though, so we might as well hit him back with a Hello. Another Heart Hello, bro. Hello, hello to you, too, my friend. All right. So let's have a game here. All right, sweet. We're going to win the coin flip. I think it's also it's a mirror match. Yeah, he's even got that Buzzable coin. That's a really cool coin, by the way. Alright, we actually have a pretty decent hand here. I like this. Hmm. Though, I don't know if I want a bridge or not. I think we got it. You have a good deck. You also have a good deck, my good sir. Hit him with a hit him with a smiley face. Alright, if our bridge is prized, rip... Oh, actually, our second Lele is prized. That kind of makes his bridge a little less good. Is it even worth going for just... Confirming we have a Decidueye for next turn. Might be better just to end him, which I think I gotta do. Yeah, I think we have to end him here. I don't know. I could just play my odds, hope to draw a supporter. Might be too risky, though. I still, it's tempting to go straight for the Decidueye, though. In all honesty, it's still kind of tempting to do that. Or do I just end him here? I think we got uh, whatever. Let's just sort it out with our chat, with our energy drive. I even put the rainbow energy on my Rowlet if I wanted to. I mean, there's a lot of cards we can draw. Hmm. I mean, we end him. But what if we don't draw any Rowlets? We have four in the deck. Yeah, I guess it's, it's probably better safe than sorry. So I guess we do end him here. I'm actually going to hold on the rainbow, because the goal of this deck is not really to do jet punch or set up super absorption, so we might as well land him. And it paid off! It paid off pretty nicely, so hey, I'm glad I went with that instead of Bridget. Looks like my opponent had a good hand off that, so the, the end was definitely the right call. And uh, I think I'm going to pass. For now. I don't want to put the rainbow on, I don't know what I want to do with it yet. I don't know if I want to go down to 180. Pardon me, 180 HP. We are going to see a Guzma on probably my Rowlet. Yep. And a relic's gonna get killed. Rip. But we have a Decidueye for next turn. Kinda sucks though. So. Oh no, he. Oh, I forgot he's only doing 50. <gasps> Yo, you shouldn't have, game. You shouldn't have. That's a pretty good draw. Hmm. I'm ta I think I'm. Eh, that's our only rainbow though. I'm not doing as much damage. I, mean, I don't know. I, whatever, sure. I, was, I, wanna, I need to conserve that, but it doesn't matter. Like, we ace, roll up, conserve it, use it for Feather. There's another Decidueye. We didn't get a float, though, so Dark Tricks is going to be KO'd, unfortunately. But at the very least, we can put some pressure on him with Feather. We didn't find one of our ace rollers, which kind of sucks. I think we just pass for now. Decidueye may not be in the field much longer because of Espeon. Another Guzma. Wow. We'll see what he takes out here. I gotta watch out for Knuckle Impact. I gotta avoid that, but I don't think we can KO this thing right now. Ooh, okay. I guess he just wants to damage my Decidueye. He's definitely still taking the prizes, which sucks. Yeah, rip. Rare Candy would be a good draw. The only problem is we're gonna get Espeon. Ooh, or not. Or I don't like losing these, uh, I really don't like losing these rainbows, though. Like, I'm, I want to use Hollow Hunt. But, at the end of the day, I think I can afford it because we have an Ace Roll to play on our other Buzzwool. Can we find Float? What? <laughs> oh, come on. How do we not buy Floatstone? Oh, man, that's not good. I should have attached the rainbow now. Oh, man. Yeah, I should have attached rainbow. We could have done Hollow Hunt. 
I guess I have to Ace Rolla or Decidueye next turn, which I don't like, but... Or we could do Ghostman, but... I don't know. We'll probably just do Ace Rolla. It's probably the smarter play. My opponent's got that bling, though, just like me. It looks like it's Bling Wars, which is pretty lit. Makes this game even more funner. He's gonna end me. Okay, that makes things complicated. If I still find Float, I'll be pretty happy. But if we have Ace Rolla, we have Ace Rolla. We've only played two Sikkas, so maybe I'll maybe draw something here. Alright, we got Float, we got Guzma. Garboder, though, is also a bit of a threat. Because we've played a few items. You yeah, know, played a few. There's an Espeon, I don't need that. Do I have a KO on? Yeah, I do. I can knock out this Trubbish. Let's do it. Kinda wish I got another Decidueye down, though, but it's fine. So we're gonna do 50, but we are indeed going to take out this Trubbish. If we can avoid Garboder, that'll be pretty good. I'm actually gonna wait to play Field Blower. So, we're not gonna play it quite yet. I think I'm gonna hold for one turn. No. Maybe I could've done it so he doesn't retrieve a Lele, but I think it's fine just to hold for it. There's another Lele. Alright, good. We have more draw support. So, I just gotta be careful on any items I play, but we do have Hollow Hunt. Maybe that could help. Oh, no! Max Potion! Yikes! That's scary. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> I mean, we have Max Potion too, but yeah, it's pretty. that's pretty scary. That's uh, gonna make things more interesting. Sycamore, he got rid of Garbotoxin. Both Garboders are just really bad in this matchup because one can KO me and the other can uh, get rid of my uh, Decidueye. He's setting up a play where he's going to devolve me too, which kind of sucks. Might as well just keep building up the active. I don't like playing all these items. It's really not in my best interest to do that, but I don't have much of a choice. I'm just going to start sniping the bench here. I'm gonna end. I need to find another Decidueye. Hmm. We found it. We found Mew. I I don't want to play any cards in this hand though. Like every card I want to keep for next turn. Like I need the Rainbow. I want to use Mew in this matchup to show off why I like it. And I want the Ace Roller because I'm not gonna get killed next turn. Oh no. We already played Nace Roller too, right? No. That's too many items. I think I'm gonna hold on this hand then. Rip. Not what I wanted to do, but it's whatever. I really wanted to get Decidueye down that turn, but it's fine. I think we can manage with one Decidueye. Ooh, he's just rolling the Trubbish, I see. Because he knows Trash Lanch is important. Hmm. He's actually sparing my dark tricks. Thank you. Hmm. Do we get KO'd next turn? I don't know. Why is this timer popping up so quick, bro? My turn just started. Chill. Um. Okay, let's feather arrow. We're doing... We're still not getting KO'd by uh, Buzzwool, but I don't want him to ace roll it. I think I just knock it out here, but yeah, it's fine. No, I didn't mean to do whatever. If I found a choice band, actually, this would be pretty good because we could actually knock him out Jet Punch. I do have an idea, though. We're actually going to do this. I'm going to conserve that rainbow, so I'm probably going to need it for next turn. Decidueye. And hopefully when we knock him out, we're going to be able to get what we need. Thought we could have... Man, we had the knockout with Double Feather Arrow, oh, and we could have Jet Punched him. I mean, might as well still do it, but that's a bit of a uh, dumb misplay on my end. So we're doing 90... Yeah, whatever, sure. My bad. I guess we just gotta hope he doesn't have the Garboder. Yeah, I think that's fine. 
and we'll keep sniping these trubbishes. And then maybe we can take, take him out next turn with Mew. Oh, he lives! Oh, I'm an idiot! Oh, no! Oh, I did the math wrong! Oh, okay, at least it's not an Ace Roller. Oh, he had two Ultra Balls. There you go. Dang it, I did the math wrong. Rip. He might play Super Scoop up for all I know. I mean, it puts us in an okay spot, because we're still not going to get knocked out by this thing, because he's only doing 60. He'd have to get enough strong energy to KO me, which I'll probably find. Yeah, rip. Dude, I suck at this game! <sighs> I'm so bad at Pokemon, guys. I suck. Why are you guys subbed to me? Man, uh, I need to quit while I'm ahead. I did the math so wrong there. Wow. I did the math so wrong. That's not nice. It's not playing very well today. Okay, there's Sika. I guess we gotta go Hollow Hunt. <laughs> Man, these misplays today, guys. These misplays, guys. I'm telling you. 40, 100. Yeah, I guess we'll hit him. Man, I did the math so wrong there, guys. I forgot. We're 10 short. I thought we were doing 90 with. Jet Punch for some reason, but we're not. And uh, you can kind of see how that cost me. So it's Hollow Hunt. Get back Max Potion. Get back. Get back Guzma, just in case. And get back Strong Energy. Or maybe another Rainbow, actually. I want to get Nightem out of the discard, so we'll get these three back. Well, Guzma, Garboder, take it out. Seems fine. Yeah, unless he Garbo talks since his play could go down south. Maybe I should have got the Field Blower. <laughs> that misplay, though. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know what to say. I want to keep this match, though, because it's against the fans, so it's like, I you know, might as well keep the game. Even though I did make a dumb misplay, it might have cost me. Mm hmm. And I'm right. Is this a KO? I'm pretty sure it is, even though we did get an item out of the deck, but we played a ton. Yeah, he's doing just just enough to take me out. Rip. And he has another Garboder. Well, uh, looks like the writing is on the wall. There's nothing I can really do about that, can I? If I didn't make that misplay, we would have had a shot of winning this game. Cause, oh, man. I feel so dumb. Maybe I should have avoided the Gar, but I didn't expect the Guzma. I just didn't play too good today. I think that's, at the end of the day, that's the case. It's nothing I can really do. Well, maybe I can do, okay. Change of plan. I could, uh, how many Guzmas does he have left? Okay, he has none. Yeah, see, this is why I didn't get a Guzma. He only plays, yeah, he only had three. I could actually trap the Lele in the active spot and avoid the Garboder. Or I could trap Trubbish, actually. I don't know. I think I just got to take this loss. I could trap the Lele, though, and try. He just needs an energy, but... I mean, either way, I think I'm screwed. Like, I don't know if I can actually do anything. Like, I probably just screwed up the Feather of Math. But yeah, I don't think I can really do anything here. Best I can do is maybe try and stall for a bit. I mean, I could bring out... Decidueye and maybe stall for a bit. We can try it. I, I'm gonna try to stall with Decidueye and see if that ends up working. That's my only option, because I can bring out Buzzwolves and I'll lose. Even if I wanted to, like, trap lately, he would. He has, like, Ace Rollas, Floats, Energies. There's nothing I can do about it. Max Potion, and that changes everything. That is a rip, because I could have had knockout on Garb. Let's see if uh, he can get out of this. I mean, if Lele's staying in the active for a little while, I'm fine, but he definitely has a way out of it. I don't know. He's probably, he definitely plays more than two floats. I think it's the best thing I can do, guys, is just try and stall for a bit. I could... Yeah. I could have also trapped Trubbish because of more retreat. But he could also do Acid Spray. Well, I guess he has the Tapu Kira. Well, you got the retreat, rip. Nothing I can do now. I think we're out of Guzmas, too. 
got one left. Anyways, we can't even play it. Hmm. Even if we knock him out, it's over. Uh, yeah, if he had less than one prize, I could have went into this Rowlet or Mew. It's kind of too late. I think I just gotta take the L here. Nothing I could really do. This, these Garboders, man, they're too they're too scary to deal with. You can't really do anything against Garboder with Buzzwool because you just get hit for weakness. It's a bit of an unfortunate loss. Again, let me say well played. I did make a really bad misplay, which cost me the game. That I mean, he also did a lot of big healing turns. I think it was a good match, though I did make a really stupid misplay. But I don't want to not include this match because it's against a fan right now. I feel like I, you know, I kind of feel bad if I didn't include this, so... I can't really not include it, but we're going to get another match with our deck, and at the very least we can get some tickets. I haven't gotten any coins yet, and I've been playing for like 40 minutes. I want some coins, man. Wait, did I spell that? Buzz Woe, I All did. Alright guys, oh, let's go get another match with our deck. Now, I found a match against like this colorless deck. It's like using Beware and Raticate, but I didn't really want to count that because that was an easy win. Not to mention, it's not an evolution deck. I want to try and play against Gardevoir or something, which... Looks like our wish has been granted. I think. This could be Guardi. It also could be one of those colorless decks. I think it's going to be a colorless deck. We'll see, though. I want to play against, like, an Evolution deck. Just so I can try and show off the Decidueye, Buzzwool, Espeon combo. Like, I feel like I would be cheating again if I didn't get at least one Evolution match in. So, we'll see if we can find one. We'll see if this is going to be a Guardi match or not. And if not, you know, rip me. But, you know. If you still lose in evolutions, I guess I can still try and show it off. Get a bit of a weird hand. Uh, I guess we have the Sycamore. That's fine. I can put the Rainbow on Rowlet. Float it. Retreat. Maybe find Mew. See if it's Gardevoir. It could be a colorless deck with like a fairy type. Like it could have like Comfy and... I don't know. Uh, Comfy, Sylveon. Who knows? Might be a guard. If it is Gardevoir, it's fine, but he doesn't play like Zoar, Coctillery, Gallade, or Lele, so we'll see. Could be like Gardevoir, like in a Rangaroo, so who knows. I I'm glad it's Gardevoir, though, because I didn't want to try and show it off against Gardevoir. Sorry if you heard like a noise, by the way, on my laptop here, um, on the video. Hmm. Okay, it is Guardi, and we get a fine energy, not too good. You know what? <sighs> I've had enough, I'm not going to eat full <laughs> Match I just say roll a scoop the game. Alright, a couple energies down the drain, and alright, there's a Buzzwool. Which I might as well just go into. I mean if it's just Sylveon, I can do with that. Kinda scared of Plea though. Do I Ultra Ball twice or do I wait? I think I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I don't really want to get rid of anything in this hand anyways. The one thing I am again worried about is Sylveon. Plea is a little annoying because it resets the Decidueyes. So, gotta watch out for that. I might Hollow Hunt. Try and avoid Plea that way, I don't know. Sylveon's a bit tanky though, but again, with the de-evolution, should be okay. I don't even know if Espeon's in the deck or not, I haven't checked yet. So we are gonna see a match called Ribbon, which is good, we can end him. No Bridget's or Ralts going down, which is also kind of strong. I think I'm not gonna put energy on my Buzzwool. I think I'm gonna hold on that. Uh, if we put Rainbow on, I, yeah, I think it's better just to hold and try and hit Strong Energy off this end. Can we top deck Rare Candy? Another Rowlet's good. Um, yeah, we end them and hope to hit Energy here. If we don't, that's going to be a bit of an issue. And we don't. Shoot. Crud, man. The only good thing to come out of that, or I guess the only positive thing, is that he doesn't have any Ralts in place, so it's not like I was getting much value out of Jet Punch. Could have set up a win for next turn, though, if it all went well. I think I'm going to hold on Rare Candy in case he pleased me here. I have a feel- uh, Is he going to plead me? Well, yeah. I think we'll wait. He might plead me. We'll see, though. I'm probably going to have to Ultra Ball anyways and try and grab like a Sycamore here. The only good thing that, you know, again, if he had a Ralts down, it would have been, oh, he's playing Stall Sylveon. Oh, is he? Chaos Tower, Delinquent. I guess he's playing Sylveon Stall. 
That's actually fine, because we can beat him by just spamming Feather Arrow and then finish him off with Espeon. I mean, it's an evolution deck, so at the end of the day, it's whatever. It's not what I wanted to play against, but, you know, I'll take it. Kind of wish I was ending him here. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of End. Whatever, it's fine. Still no energy! Yo, what the heck is going on? How did we not hit another energy, bro? Yikes. I am baiting him here, as you can kind of see. That's why I'm not playing the rare candies, in case he please me. Wow, these energy whiffs, so... <laughs> what the heck? Those are those are two two matchups today where we've played against a D evolution deck. He's probably gonna plea me here. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to hollow hunt back the rainbows at some point. Please plea me. No, of course not. If we can get an energy, I can do Ace Rolla. Or not. <laughs> Dude, where the heck are my <sighs> Where are my energies at? There you are. Holy cow. We're gonna get KO'd, but it's fine. Might as well knock out Eevee here. Takes away some of his options. Maybe we can win next turn if we can find... If he doesn't put another Pokemon down, we could probably win next turn if we can get Espeon. I don't know if it's prized. But we do have win next turn if he cannot find Espeon. Mm. If... For whatever... Oh, never mind. No, no, we still win. We can Feather Arrow. He needs to find another Pokemon or else we win. I think I'll get another game after this. I, I still want to play- No, the red guard! Who plays this guard still? No! Uh, yeah, that's fine. Still got a SBI. Hmm. I'll find another game. I'm having a fun time playing this deck, though. I'm not gonna lie. This is a really fun deck to play, so... I like Puzzle. It's a giant mosquito. Who doesn't like who doesn't like giant mosquitoes? I mean, I don't like mosquitoes in general. They're annoying, but giant mosquito Pokemon, those things are cool. So all we need to do is just find an energy here and we win the game. As long as so if so if if if, so, if Espeon is prized, rip though, that could be pretty bad. I think I'm gonna keep I might have to end him here. If Espeon's prized, it's not. How many energies do we have? Two. Hmm. The odds of winning are actually a lot lower. Yeah, two energies. <sighs> Rip me. Okay, now we're good. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we're good. We just came in clutch there. We just, we just had it. That was a pretty close game. Just, I don't know. I wouldn't call it close, but I wouldn't call it hard either. I mean, we almost didn't have game there, which could have been bad. Even though we, I probably just kept Decidueye in the active, voided plea, feather arrowed him, just kept piling damage on him, forced him to max potion, burn all that energy he has on him. That would have been fine. Well, hopefully we can play against another evolution deck. We showed off the anti-evolution engine to this deck, which I'm happy about, but I need to play against another evolution deck. We can get another win. Never mind. Okay. I was thinking, maybe we can get another win. We might be able to get that Darkrai. Don't look like it's gonna happen. Well, maybe we got 135. Alright, guys, let's get another game. Sylveon matchup is a little short, so we'll find another match where hopefully the game will be longer. And uh, we can get a you know, longer game. It'll be pretty nice. I'll see what we're up against here. Hopefully, guard. Nope, it's not guard. Or that is. Decidueye Zoark? That's a. Okay, that's a good matchup, too. It's an evolution deck. Any evolution deck. In my opinion, is a good matchup. So, you yeah, know, this should be okay. It's definitely Decidueye Zork. Even got the Zork when he's just flexing that, so clearly it's a Decidueye Zork. Double Rowlet. That's, That's an okay hand. Don't know if I want to do Bridget or just Enim. Tempted. I mean, even Sycamore wouldn't be bad. I need to get Buzzwell down. Hmm. I guess we'll do Bridget. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to get rid of the Decidueye. 
We'll get rid of Stretcher and Ultra Ball. I'm going to keep Field Blower because I actually want to keep that around. I mean, Bridget could be prized. And this could be... Yeah, it is prized. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, well... Uh, bo yo are you telling me three of my Buzzles are prized? Oh, no. Alright, good thing we play Zygarde then. Two of my Buzzwells are prized. This is why Mew and Zygarde are in the deck. Wow. Bridget and Buzzwell are prized. Look at that. We only have one Buzzwell. Hmm. That, however, is a good hand. I don't really know the significance of having Mew in play, so I don't know if I want to put that down. I think I still will. Just to have free retreat, because I'm actually- I think I'm- yeah, I'm gonna go into Mew here. Just so Rowlet's not the active. That's why I like this Mew. It's just- it's nice to have. Free retreat, good- good typing. You can even do encounter for like a Decidueye or something, and then Rare Candy next turn. I don't know. Um, you can see why I like Mew. Z like I was debating between either having Mew in this deck or Jirachi with Stardust, and I eventually decided on Mew because one, it's a little more creative, and two, it's just unique. As a free retreat, Jirachi doesn't. Jirachi's still kind of nice though, so I don't know. Maybe both if you're crazy. So yeah, it's- okay, good. It's Decidueye War. I want to try out Decidueye Zorg. I might make a video on that in the future, but I already have a Zorg video that I want to make very soon anyways. Just a pass. That's a big turn for me. Unfortunately, we are going to lose a Decidueye, and we got rid of our Rescue Stretcher. Well, I guess I could hold. Yeah, let's hold and knock out this Zorg. Or this Zorua. That seems fine. Do we hit this? No, whatever. Let's just hit the Rowl. I'm not really worried about Coco. It's not a big threat. It's probably better to knock out these Zorgs now. Okay, there we go. Buzzle number two. Alright, so yeah, I guess it's fine to hold. Keep the Decidueye get in play next turn. I don't know if he's playing Espeon or not. He probably is. I mean, assuming he would be. So that's something we do have to watch out for. Probably best just to have one or two Decidueyes in play. Seeing Ultra Ball. Kind of wish I had another Guzma. Like, maybe we can get a Lele off the top deck and I can knock out another Zoro. If we can control his Zoarks, we should be good. Control Zoarks, snipe the Rowlets and the Dartrixes and the Decidueyes, and then the Evolve them. Could be a decent play. We're gonna see Lele come down. Probably gonna see an N. Yep, that's fine. I had a pretty strong hand, but you never know, maybe I was gonna top deck a dead card that I didn't want to get rid of, so who knows? Maybe this ends saving me. I mean, as long as I still find Decidueye, it's all good. Yeah, there you go. Espeon, however, is not something I'm fond of losing. So I think I'm going to have to get rid of whatever I draw and something like that. 50 damage. Yeah, I don't think I can be KO'd next turn. There's Zygarde. Do I need him? I think I... No, he's weak to grass, but... I don't know. Yeah. I think it's... Yeah, Zygarde's pretty much a dead card in this matchup, I think. I don't want to end him, though. More tempted to ace Rolla, in all honesty. So we're doing 50, 100. So we have to feather arrow him the cake mo. I mean, I don't think he can take me out next turn. Like, not even Lele would. I think we'll risk it and just hope we survive. We might even hold on to this hand for a turn. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this hand in case he ends me again. I like that hand. And we'll just hit that Dark Tricks and soften it up to be KO'd by Espeon. Hopefully we get the other Buzzwool. A. Let's see if he knocks me out. He's gonna need a lot. He's gonna need like Decidueye, Decidueye, DC, Choice Band. I don't know. If he knocks me out, so be it. We're gonna see an Ultra Ball Puppy for another Decidueye. I don't know if he plays three Lele's or not though. Good thing. Oh, and he concedes! <laughs> there you go, he conceded. This deck is too good. Can we finally get some coins though? A ticket. No, it's not that's not coins. We got two coins that match. Two coins. Oh, well, let me look at this deck. I don't know. This deck is really fun to play, but I think I'm going to wrap up the day's video, guys. Um, I've been recording this for a really long time. I want to get on to my next video that I want to make. So, uh, yeah, I think that'll wrap up the day's video. It was a pretty good deck. Um, I really do like this deck a lot. Um, it's pretty fun to play. It does have a bit of an iffy Buzzle Garb matchup. Um, you can maybe win it if you're lucky, but uh, it is still pretty hard to beat. I think the Volk matchup's a little sketchy, too. For the most part, you can beat any Zorg matchup. You can beat Guardy, Metagross. Nine Tails. Those are probably your easiest matchups. So I don't know. But I do still like this deck quite a bit. I think it has potential. I don't know what you would cut. Um, not much I would really consider taking out. So I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe more PCGO content. Help me on the road to hitting 3... 
3,000 subscribers. We are very close to 3K. We actually just hit 21K. Um, we're at 21K. What the heck am I? We didn't hit 21,000 subs. We just hit uh, 2,100 subscribers recently. So, gotta thank you guys a lot for that. Uh, put a smile on my face when I saw the uh, 2,100. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, help me on the road to 3K. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you enjoyed. See you guys later. Goodbye.